Today I'm going to read you Whose Footprint Is That? by Darren Lunday, illustrated by Kelsey Oseed, published by Charles Bridge. Footprints come in all shapes and sizes, and they tell us a lot about the animal who made them. Let's read and see some of the footprints and use the hints to decide and guess which animal made each footprint. Whose footprint is that? Whose footprint is that? Hmm. It was made by two pointy toes. Do you have a guess? Who do you think made this footprint? A mountain goat. A mountain goat has rubbery pads under its toes. It can cling to a rocky cliff without slipping. Whose footprint is that? These are two footprints. They were made by hopping. Who do you think made this footprint? A wallaroos. Oh, I thought I thought the author was gonna say kangaroo, but it's a wallaroo. A wallaroo can hop as high as six feet. It can travel for miles without getting tired. Wow. Whose footprint is that? It was made by running on snow. Who do you think made those footprints? A snowshoe hairs. A snowshoe hair has big feet. The feet keep the hair from sinking in the snow, almost like snowshoes. Is that a footprint? It was made by slithering. Is that a footprint? That's a good question. That is not a footprint. It was made by a snake. Did you guess that? Good job. Snakes don't have feet. They use their belly muscles to move. Ooh. Whose footprint is that? was made by standing in soft mud. Can you guess? Whose footprint is that? A flamingos. Flamingos have webbed feet. The webbing keeps them from sinking in mud. A flamingo sleeps while standing on one leg. Clunk, clunk. Whose footprint is that? It is a fossil. It was made a long time ago. A dinosaur's. A dinosaur made the footprints in soft mud many years ago. Over time, the mud turned to rock. Whose footprint is that? It was made by knuckle walking. Knuckle walking. Whose footprint is that? A chimpanzee's. A chimpanzee stands flat on its hind feet. It uses its finger knuckles for balance when it moves. Can an animal change its footprint? Huh. Yes, a human can, and we're animals too. Humans change their footprints by putting on putting things on their feet, like shoes. What made each footprint? Let's see. This hiking boot. Which one of these footprints is a hiking boot? Oh yeah, it's right there. Okay, these high heels. Which footprint is the high heels? Oh yeah, right here. And then the flippers. Oh, right there. And the skis. Oh, the skis made that long straight line. And the snowshoe, just like the snowshoe hair. Yep, that's the footprint of the snowshoe. Thanks for reading and learning about footprints with me. I hope you enjoyed the book and you learned something new today. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.